So on this one is a quick one. This is gonna be my top five Brandon Gleason movies. So again, just my own personal view, obviously. This is uh, Perry has Bounty. This, I'm trying to remember the year, but all I can remember was this was just an absolute cracking film. Funny as fuck. Co-starring uh, Killian Murphy, but it was done very well. It was a typical Irish movie, I thought, at the time. Um, just basically gangster named Perrier. Basically out for a bit of revenge on these three fugitives. Um, responsible for accidentally killing one of his, his own crew. like. But good, proper Irish cast as well. I mean, you get... From the trailer alone, you can recognise all the faces near enough. They're in anything that comes out Irish, basically. And just in case you hadn't noticed as well, the violence in it is unbelievable in terms of just killing non stop. <laughs> well, yes, Perry is now at the end number five. So, coming in at number four is, as you can see, the amount of Academy Awards this thing picked up has to be Gangs of New York. Obviously, Brendan Gleeson, not the main star in this. Obviously, Daniel Day Lewis takes it and Leonardo DiCaprio. But in terms of a film, unbelievable. And again, you just got to look at the cast. I mean, Liam Neeson, Cameron Diaz. It was almost endless amount of A-listers. In terms of in terms of an actual film, don't get me wrong, it was bloody violent ridiculous amount of slaughter in it especially from Daniel Day-Lewis he was amazing in this but I thought Brendan Gleeson's performance in it was just it was just brilliant The only thing about Brendan Gleeson's performance, it obviously wasn't, what's the word, huge, you know, he, he wasn't obviously the main standout in this, but what he did do in it and what he did perform, you still gotta give him credit for what he does do, and I think it is the fact of how big this film was, obviously it's a, it's a Scorsese movie, so you know it's gonna be absolute quality anyway. But then it's like you throw in the other names, DiCaprio, Nigel Lewis, Diaz, Liam Neeson, as I say. It just became an absolutely sensation. So in at number four, going good, going with gangs in New York. So up next then was one of his standout movies where he is uh, obviously the main the main man in this. And this is the general. Where he does play Martin Cahill the Infamous Dublin gangster who, uh, in fairness, went in a humorous way about pissing off the police and um, robbing non stop. He was um, an interesting character, different. He was also having his way with two, two sisters, which is quite an interesting uh, life. But, um, 
let's be honest, Brandon Gleason was just sensational in this movie. This is one of the first films I have actually seen him. And he just completely stole the show in fairness. And I was done in the old black and white as well, I think that made it made it a bit decent. If somebody hasn't ever seen this movie, get on this and see this movie. It is brilliant. Yes, number three, the general. So I went at number two, another Brendan Gleeson classic. It is The Guard. If you haven't seen this, this is one of the funniest films you will see Cop shop. ever. Oh, was it a sheep or something? Was it a lamb? I mean, what would his parents think? He's, an, he's just a funny bastard in this film. Although it's quite serious at times, it's just funny as fuck. And he just plays the role perfect. I don't think your mum would be too pleased about that now. You're to head in to attend a briefing from a fella who's over from the FBI. Now these men are highly dangerous, in the vicinity of $500 million worth of cocaine on board. Yes, Sergeant. I thought only black lads were drug dealers and Mexicans. Apologize to the man. Apologize for what? For your racist slurs, for one thing. I'm Irish, sir. Racism is part of my culture. <laughs> yes, if you, get, if you haven't seen this, watch this. That's the kind of shit that comes out constantly. Chilly out, huh? Sorry, you lost me a wee. And I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Top Brown, go on, Megan Doris! It was a Gaelic speaking region. Did I not teach you that with Langley? How you doing, sir? Sir, Langley's the CIA, you idiot, not the FBI. Yeah, the guard, I'd say, was probably the best film of that year that it was out. I think it was around 2011, 12, something like that. Obviously, you can see that the cast in it was massive as well. Decent cast for what it was, because I don't think it was a massive, big, big film. Production was. I actually come from a very privileged background. Some in the Hamptons, skiing in Aspen. Dark black people couldn't ski. <laughs> or is that swimming? Yes, number two, the guard. Brilliant. So then, Brendan Gleeson's number one film, obviously in my view, is in Bruges. Him and Colin Farrell are just a fantastic parent. If you want a funny, funny film, in this film though in fairness Brendan Gleeson is absolutely fantastic Conor Farrell is brilliant as well so is Fiennes but I'm definitely going with Gleeson him and Colin Farrell just bounce off each other perfect it is quite funny they take the piss out of this poor town something else you're about the worst tourist in the whole world. If I'd grown up on a farm and was retarded, Bruges might impress me, but I didn't, so it doesn't. She ain't my girlfriend. She's a prostitute. Didn't know there were any prostitutes in Bruges. Just had to look in the right places. Brothels are good. 
An Uzi? I'm not from South Central Los Angeles. I want a normal gun for a normal person. Maybe that's what hell is. So yes, if you were looking for a funny fucking film with two class Irish actors in a foreign town with somebody chasing them down, then this is it. Number one is in Bruges.